Hello and welcome to Gamerson. I am some rando from the internet. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about the new Black Ops 4 Zombies map that came out, Alpha Omega. This is not going to be a full review, it's just going to be a video about why this is a Nuketown remake, because it really didn't need to be. Alright, let's get into it. The new Alpha Omega map, it takes place in a Broken Arrow facility, Camp Edward. It's based in Nevada and for some reason this map is a remake of the Nuketown Zombies map from Black Ops 2. The Nuketown Zombies map was just like this little extra bonus map that we got. And while they managed to fit it somehow in the story, it really had no real importance in the story and that's fine it was a decent map there was like one gimmick in the map that the perks just dropped in one by one over the period of like 25 rounds or something but it was nothing else really to that map and i'm okay with remaking nuketown zombies you can do a lot with this map because the the original is really a nothing map it's very small there's nothing special and you can do anything with this map as they did but it really didn't need to be a remake of nuketown because the map is basically a completely different map it retains the two houses from the original map and the street the cul-de-sac and that's it because everything else is new like the rest of the town it's new the uh, complete underground bunker complex it's all new and the map feels completely different from the original nuketown zombies map so they could just have made this some other map in a facility in a broken arrow facility somewhere in nevada and why this bothers me so much is that i think that every ether story map in black ops 4 is going to be a remake i'm not sure if this is the right way to go because the games have aged pretty well black ops 1 black ops 2 black ops 3 of course because it's not that long ago that this came out and while i'm okay with remaking maps i prefer that they just put them in these extra dlc packs like the resurrection and the zombies chronicle dlc pack where they're just like these extra things i do prefer the type of remakes that we got in Black Ops 4 over the remakes in the Zombies Chronicles map pack where basically nothing was different except for the weapons and that the game looked a little bit prettier but they were just the same map which felt kind of pointless. So I like that they're expanding the areas and adding new easter eggs and new weapons and stuff but I would prefer that they just made original maps. Because it feels like they're just trying to cash in on nostalgia and fan service. What also bothers me is that in Alpha Omega, I guess we find out that Nuketown isn't really just a nuclear testing site. It's a secret Broken Arrow facility that is disguised as a Nuketown, I guess. But there's very much a nuclear bomb right outside the town. And while that could be used as like something to mislead people, to make it seem like it's an actual nuke town, it is an actual nuke because a nuke apparently goes off during the easter egg and the nuke is very much exploded in nuketown zombies which takes place after this map but then apparently they thought a nuke going off in the town wasn't enough so then they had samantha also destroy a bunch of shit for some reason and then they told us that apparently the damage wasn't caused by the nuke but by samantha being mad but the nuke clearly went off like there's a giant crater right there what do you think a nuke does and it's just baffling that they would make a research facility and just put a live nuke on top of it ready to explode it doesn't make any fucking sense just set this map somewhere else that all being said i do really like the map i think it's probably the best map in black ops 4 it's the one i enjoy the most i really love the feeling of the map it's similar to classified the 60s feeling thing that you also had in moon it's it's a really cool aesthetic and i think it works better for the zombie mode than the chaos story where it's all this greek shit like the first one nine it was just a gimmick in arena but i don't think that aesthetic really works all that well in the zombies game i just want them to bring the crew to new locations even though the new nuketown map alpha omega feels basically like a completely different map and exactly for that reason it's completely pointless to set it in the same location just take us somewhere else it's the same with classified there was also no real reason why the characters went to that location the ending cutscene doesn't even take place at the Pentagon, it takes place at Groom Lake. So there's actually no story happening at the Pentagon. All the story in that map is happening in a different location. But I guess that's it. See you around, folks. 
Amut.